aren't you measuring out your ketchup? Because it'd be kind of silly to put that in a measuring cup and then put it in there. I'm eyeballing it. I'm meatballing it. Meatball. It's a spicy meatball. You ever go about taping something and taping something and taping something and then you go to your computer and instead of saving something you delete the footage? Try doing that with a $28 ham and see how happy that makes your wife. That's all right. I'm going to get up, get out all my pent up frustration with the <laughs> belly waxing video that we get to do at the Yay. end of today. Yay, me. <laughs> then you'll get to see what a real meatball looks like. <laughs>Welcome back to another edition of Cook at Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy, where we cook up dishes straight from recipes that crock.com, which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog that has well over 600 recipes and risin. And today, we're going to do a little holiday festivities. It's getting close to New Year's, and people want to be eating some finger food. You know what I'm talking about? You got your candies, you got all your different kinds of sweets, and then you go there and you get your little sausages and your little dips, and somebody will be toting in the slow cooker into a party and it's setting it down and it's going to be meatballs and if you make this recipe and you walk into that party toting your little slow cooker <laughs> with these meatballs you're going to make best friends real quick with everybody at that party they're going to love you they're definitely going to love this recipe it's super simple to make it's going to take me <gasps> that much time to make it just a couple hours to cook it up and you're going to make a lot of people happy at a holiday party or a work gathering or a night this by is, yourself watching is, movies. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. This is good over rice. It's also good oh, as sandwiches. Man. Pineapple meatballs. It has, I say that if you like Hawaiian pizza, Hawaiian mm -hmm. kind of style, which is what we in the state or in the state side call. Yes. Call anything with pineapple in it. And it's it's just that it's that simple. The title of this recipe, I guess y'all want to know if you didn't see it above, is tangy pineapple meatballs. Super quick to make, super simple, and it goes a little something like this. What you're gonna need are the following: 40 ounces of meatballs. Here's two 20 ounce packages. Just tiny meatballs look like that. You need 16 ounces of pineapple tidbits. Don't look like this. Well, yeah, who cares? It's my house. I can do it. Look just like this. They're delicious by themselves. They're great with pineapples. You also need... They're great with pineapples. All right, well, yeah, that, with more of those pineapples. <laughs> they're great with meatballs, too. You need one cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of maple syrple, Sorry. half a cup of maple... <laughs> it's been a long day around here. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, a half a cup of maple syrup, <laughs> a quarter cup of soy sauce, and 28 ounces of ketchup. And... The process of putting this together is very difficult. You ready? You take your meatballs and you put them in your slow cooker. I am using, if y'all watch our As Good As It Gets weekend show, I'm using Rick. That's the name of our slow cooker because it's got that Rick Rack pattern on it. And I just like it in memory of The Walking Dead. So I'm going to put this stuff in Rick. You need to put your pineapples right in on top of your meatballs. Take your brown sugar on top of your pineapple. Take your maple syrup. <laughs> your circle. Maple, your, take your circle <laughs> and you put it on top of your brown sugar. And then take your soy sauce, put it on top of your maple circle. <laughs> And then take your ketchup. You want 28 ounces of ketchup. This is a 50.5 ounce. And you've already used 28 I used ounces. about. Oh, well, um, now you've made it to where we can't see. This is going to be harder than I thought. <laughs> I've used about a third of this, so I'm going to use about a half of what's left. It's a real complicated measurement. Now, I usually measure for the record. Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> I just don't feel like getting out another measuring cup and cleaning more. Oh, because how many people believe that you're actually cleaning up the kitchen? I want to know. Hey, who, who cleaned this off right before we start taping, lady? Who did it? Who did it? <laughs> who has spent hours 
taking up after we've been cleaning. Hey, I spent office. hours trying to salvage footage that I had deleted. <sighs> Don't do that, y'all. Don't do that. It will not make your spouse happy. <laughs> Now, you can stir this up. You can not stir this up. I'm sure because it, it's all going to kind of mix together. It's going to cook down, and it'll probably be easier yeah. to stir after it cooks a little bit. Because the meatballs are frozen, yeah. and the liquid hasn't all yeah. combined together. So pretty much just put it in there. Put your lid on it and set it on. I'm going straight to the blog for this, and I just did this, and I cannot remember. I have a very short memory. You want to put it on low for three hours. And then when you get done, <laughs> everything's cooked in there. In fact, I'm gonna use this no more. No. No. I licked it. That's not good. You've got a toothpick there. That's right. When you get done, in a couple hours, and from previous experience, I remember that I burnt myself. And I won't burn myself this time. You whole lot of stuff in between you and Big Bertha right there. Well, I'm not taking all of Big Bertha. I'm just oh, taking the Oh, you're crop. just going to take the little crock. Yeah. See, we were cooking up the quickie version of this to put on video, and we're doing the meatball trio, which is your tangy pineapple, along with your easy meatballs, along with your French onion meatballs. And this is... The final product. We'll zoom that in just a little bit. <laughs> right there. And this is what your meatballs look like when you're done. Voila. Look at that. Michael. Yeah. Honey. Yeah, I know. Look okay. at you got pineapples and all of the soy sauce is mixed up with the ketchup, is mixed up with the brown sugar, has mixed up with the pineapples and the juices. And skewer me one of them and one of them. And this is what you're going to serve at your party. Tangy pineapple meatballs. Yes. Takes all of five minutes or less to put together. A couple hours to cook. Probably less than five minutes to get rid of that at a party. <laughs> Probably less than two minutes to get rid of that at our party. <laughs> Holy cow. That's right, good. Yes. We love it. It's sweet. It's tangy. Of course, it's meaty. It's got those meatballs. And we used an Italian sausage meatball. You could use beef if you wanted to. There's oh. a little bit more I spice like, I like in the Italian sausage. I like the home style mm -hmm. meatballs with oh. it, actually, if you can find them. But you can use any kind of pre-frozen, or you can make your own. We mm -hmm. have we, we have. got recipes for that too, how to make yeah. your own meatballs. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to use the clean side and get one more because oh. I made these and I can. This is my house. It's my party. I eat meatballs as I want to. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot the ball on that one. Mm. So pop quiz: What if it's not three hours until the party and you forgot? What would you, whatever would you do? To apologize to your wife. <laughs> well, is that not the right answer? No. That's always the right answer. <laughs> what I would do, if it were me, is I would use a six quart slow cooker. That's bigger. The bigger ones. And I'd pour all the ingredients <clears> in there and I'd mix it up and not put the lid on it. And <laughs> can that. And I'd pop it in the microwave. And I do about two or three minutes at a time, mm -hmm. stirring until I heated that sucker up and got them pretty toasty. And then I'd pop that slow cooker on high until I got it all the way done. Yep. Once I got them heated up, but that's like a quick way to get it done if you've forgotten right before the party. Just make sure that during the party, turn it off a high. Oh yeah, you want it on warm by the time it gets to the party. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Super simple, super, super good. Yep. Kind of spicy, a little bit. Just I think that's more from the meatballs that we use. Yeah, I think it's mm. not typically that spicy. No. The meatballs we grabbed this. The time. Italian meatballs that I grabbed out from our local IGA, they're a little spicy, which no, I like. I think that, it's that's not what those are. Oh, uh, what are those? Those are the ones I grabbed from Walmart. Well, good job. So sorry. they're good. They're really good because yeah. like it's, it's cold outside. You yeah. go to a cold ho a cold holiday party, a winter holiday party, kind of warms you up. You know what I'm saying? But that is tangy pineapple meatballs with maples. And Syrup. With maple syrup in them. <laughs> Surple. Maple syrple. That's right. 
and we want to thank you for watching another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. If you like what you saw, please subscribe down below. Become a member of our Croc Posse. It's an ever-growing force that's growing every single day. Also, check us out over on Facebook at Recipes That Croc, as well as Instagram at Recipes That Croc, and on Twitter at Recipes Croc. And y'all keep watching, and we'll keep cooking, and all will be well. I'm using the dirty end of this now. <laughs> My house don't care. <laughs> Bye, y'all.